In my opinion, everyone when they go to college is part of a giant social psychology experiment because we're constantly meeting new people from all different types of backgrounds and we're never quite sure how those interactions are going to work out. The college dormitory, which represents about 40% of the housing selection choices for public university students and 64% for private university students, represents a super meaningful intimate space on a college campus that I argue can actually positively shape our attitudes and behaviors. When you're moving to college, it usually marks the first time you're leaving all of your friends and your family and everything that you know. But it also marks a time when you're living with someone new and you're not quite sure how that first day of school is going to go. Intergroup contact theory and psychology research argues that long-term meaningful exposure to someone who's different can actually reduce that anxiety that we face when we're meeting someone new for the first time. My work has shown that living with an other race roommate actually can have very positive benefits such as increasing a student's positive sense of self and at the end of their freshman year of college we show that that experience causes that student to be able to better navigate a future diverse setting. We're also now showing that students who choose a roommate themselves are more likely to choose someone exactly like themselves in all ways. But students under a randomized roommate policy are more likely to have someone from a different racial background, religious background, or sexual orientation background, giving those students that added bonus and exposure to someone who's different. What we're showing is that for students who have a random roommate, they not only are also able to have more open and honest discussions about all different types of diversity issues, they're also more flexible in how they think about group memberships. And most importantly, all students, regardless of their background, are showing a significant increase in the diversity of their friend networks, which we're showing is increasing inclusion overall on college campuses. So my advice to all of you out there is when you're about to meet someone new on that college campus, go for it, and you might have some positive outcomes.